Hey there, this video is a quick tutorial on how you can create an event inside of Calendly. So if that is something you're interested in, watch through this 10 minute video and you'll be ready to get started. So let's get into it. Okay. An event in Calendly is basically uh, the call scheduler that you're going to share with your clients or prospective clients to get on a call with them. So let's go ahead and create a new event and you're going to start here under event types and you're going to click on new event type. When you click on it, there are multiple options for you. Uh, if you're on the free plan, you're only going to be able to use the one on one. So I'm going to choose that. And again, if you want to go for the group invite, which is almost like a workshop kind of invite where you can have multiple people on the call at the same time. Uh, you will have to go ahead with a paid plan. So I'm not going to go ahead with group for now for this for the purpose of this video we're just going to look at one-on-one -on -one. so i'll hit on create you want to give it a name so let's say this is a client call for 60 minutes that you uh, basically run for all of your clients you can add a location so if you're going to share a zoom link with them you can add that here and then you can add a description or instructions uh, please make sure your audio and video is working before getting on the call again just random stuff but you can have detailed instructions on what they need to do to prepare for the call or you know before the call this is a good place to do all of that and then uh, this is going to be the link so the link would be calendly.com forward slash your name forward slash this so i'll just say um client for now our clients and then you can choose the event color and then you hit next and here is where you can you want to see when can people book this event so you can say indefinitely if this is a call you use with all your all of your clients you could do that or you could have a days limit so let's say you only want to do this for the next two months you could choose that as well and then duration we've set 60 minutes so i'll just change that to 60. you can also set custom hours for this particular event so let's say you meet with your clients only on wednesdays and fridays for example you could set custom hours here where you say okay i'm just going to do wednesdays and fridays and then you can choose what time you want to do uh these calls uh at so between nine to five they could book uh between nine to five and so on and so forth or if you already have an existing schedule that you've created uh you could under that'll be under availability you can do that as well i'm gonna say custom uh, and I'm going to save that as a new schedule and then I'm going to show you how you can add buffers for your calls. So I'm just going to do this uh, 9 to 12 uh, p.m. and then I'm going to do this uh, 3 to 6 or something like that. Uh, let's do 1 to 4. So I want to take all of my client calls between these times on Wednesday and Friday. And then here you can add time before or after your events. Uh, this is where you can add the buffer as well. So I want to add, I want to have a gap of at least like 20 minutes. I don't think 20 minutes is an option. So I'm just going to choose 15 minutes and then 15 minutes after. So if someone books a call for me from 9 to 10, no one will be able to book a call until 10, 15 because I have that buffer. And you can obviously increase this buffer based on, you know, how often you want to do the call. So let's say you only want to do two calls in each of these, right? So you could have like a one hour buffer so that no one can book around it. Okay. And then let's go ahead and look at all of the additional options. Again, I want to make sure you know that uh, all of these uh Additional options is something you can set up here. Uh, let's say, so you can add questions here. Uh, of course, you can change this if you don't want to use the name or if you want to autofill the name, you can do that here. And then 
anything that will help you prepare for the meeting. You could also add more questions like share your website are required, answer type multiple lines. Uh, you could say what's the one thing you are looking to get from the call. And you could do multiple lines. You could also do uh, multiple choice questions like radio buttons. And then, you know, you can ask them to select one. So there are different question options as well. I'm going to save and close. And then workflows. So this is a great way. So if someone schedules a call with you, you can send an event reminder uh, and all those things. But I this is not uh, a part of the free plan. I don't think so. You can look into workflows by clicking on this link here. Uh, but this is a great way to automate some of the emails and everything. You can uh, set up reminders here, here as well. So let's say I want to set up email reminders, but again, not available on the free plan. So you'll have to have a paid plan for that. Uh, you do get uh, email confirmations so once someone books a call they can uh, they will receive an email confirmation saying that they booked this call they'll also receive an email cancellation so if they go ahead and cancel the call they will receive an email here for reminders and follow-ups this is where you will need uh, a different plan a paid plan and similarly for text reminders but you know if you're just getting started the free calendly option is great as well you can use it until you know you're ready for a paid plan and then confirmation page, this is the page that's going uh, to be shown to someone when they book an appointment with you. You could add a custom link on this confirmation page. So let's say you wanted to invite them to a Facebook group. You could add that link here and call it join the Facebook group. And the link would be here. I'll just say facebook.com. Okay, and then I'll add this. Save and close. Uh, collect payments. Again, you have to get into the integrations page. If you're doing like paid call, paid one off calls, you can do that. And then again, you need to update, up, upgrade your subscription for that. So I'm just going to leave this for now. So I've set up my entire event here. It is a 60 minute call for clients. I've added questions. I have set up my availability for this particular call. And then I can view what the page is going to look like. OK, I haven't activated the event type, so it's telling me I haven't activated it. And this is where you need to activate your event type. But I already have other events, so it's not letting me do that because on the uh, on the free plan, you can activate only one event type. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn this off. And then this is the one that I just created client call 60 minutes. And I'm going to turn this on. And then when I turn this on, it's ready and I can view the booking page here. So this is how the page is going to look like. Uh, so this is where I added uh, that description. Again, you can add description that makes sense for your event type. So you can uh, click here, click on edit. And this is where you can go ahead and change that description and everything. Okay, so that's it for event types in Calendly. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.